Hello guys, welcome to the Rajana Sharira lecture series. Today we are going to discuss Kesha Danta and Nakha Sharira. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first of all, introduction to Kesha Danta and Nakha Sharira. Okay, Kapha Pittam Malam Kheshu Prasvedu Nakha Romacha Netravit Tukshucha Sneho Dhatu Naam Kramashu Malaha Told by Sharangadara in the Prathama Kanda of Kapha is the Mala of Rasadhatu and Pitta mainly Ranjaka, uh, Ranjaka Pitta is a mala of Rakadhatu. Kheshu. Kheshu here means any cavity, mainly Karna and Nasa mala are considered as a mala of Mamsudhatu. And Sveda is the mala of Medhatu. Nakha and Roma are the mala of Astidhatu. And Netravit, that is Netra mala, as a mala of Majadhatu. Like this, Acharya Sharangadara has put forward the malas of Dhatus here. Okay. Acharya Sharangadara have mentioned or put Kesha, Danta in the Upadhatus and Nakha in the Dhatus. Okay, now let's move towards Pancha Mahabhuti Katwa, Pancha Mahabhuti Katwa of Kesha, Danta and Nakha, which are Danta has the Prithvi and Vayu dominance, Kesha has Jala Mahabhuta dominance and Nakha has Prithvi and Vayu Mahabhuta dominance. Overall, there is a sloka which has explained that every every object in the universe is made up of Pancha Mahabhuti Katwa. That is Sarva Dravyam Pancha Mahabhuti Katwa Asmin Arte hai. Okay. Please remember it. Now, Sobhava. Kesha Shmashu, Nakha Loma, Danta Asti Siras Nayuhu, Dhamanyaha Shukram Cheti, Pitrujani. Means, Kesha, Nakha, Danta are considered as Pitruja Bhava. Means, they are all originated from the Pitruja Bhava. Or, or uh, they are all a Pitruja. Okay. They all come under a Pitruja Bhavas. Let's discuss one by one. Firstly, Kesha, that is hair. Ekai Kaja, Mruduvo Alpaha, Snigdaha, Su, Badda Mulaha, Krishna Kesha, Prashasate. Charaka Sharyasthana, 8th chapter. Means, Kesha are, the hairs are separated from each other. Ekai Kaja, Mrudu, soft, Snigdha, deeply situated, that is, Su Badda Mulaha, deeply situated from the root. Okay, black color, Krishna, which are the best qualities or of hair or the prakritic qualities of hair or we can say that healthy qualities of the hair. Now, when we come to the uh, Arista Lakshana or Vikruta quality of hair, here, in India Sthana, uh, these have been explained that the Sajet Keshaluma Manya Yamyamanani Praluchcharen Na Chedve Deyustam Parasuriti Vidyat Charka Indriya, 3rd chapter. That is, if Kesha gets separated or fall from the scalp on pulling, if the Kesha or hairs are pulled, if that uh, on pulling, if they get separated, then it is not a healthy sign of the Kesha, that is, Hairs, okay, which is called as Arista Lakshana, okay, and there will be no pulling, no pain on pulling. If the person experiences no pain on pulling and the hair gets separated from her scalp, these are the Arista Lakshana of Kesha, okay. Now, Kesha Gatarokas in Ayurveda, in context of Ashtan Indita Purusha, there, are, there is a description of Atiloma and Aloma uh, context of a Kesha which comes under Medo Dhatu Vikruti, okay. Uh, some of the Kesha Gatarokas are first is Kalitya. Kalitya also known as the falling of hairs. Vata Pitta in Roma Kupa causes falling of hairs. Okay, the dosha involved in Kalitya is Vata and Pitta. And the closing of Roma Chidra happens because of Rakta and Kapha. It's called as Indra Lupta. Okay, uh, here the point to remember is Kalitya happens due to Vata and Pitta and Indra Lupta happens due to Rakta and Kapha. The difference between Indra Lupta and Kalitya is Kalitya is nothing but the falling of hairs. Indra Lupta is totally baldness. Okay, now Darunaka. Kapha and Vata make the site of Kesha causing Kathinta, Kandu and Ruksha. Darunaka is all, uh, we can correlate Darunaka with the dandruff, okay. Which are Kathina, Kandu and Ruksha. The itchingness of the dandruff or hairs. Okay, Arushika. Next is, next Kesha Roga is Arushika. It is caused due to the vishation of Kapha, Rakta and Krimi causes Pedicas. Pedicas in the head or small uh, boils on the head <coughs> is known as Arushika having numerous opening and it is Kleda. Okay, and Palitya. Palitya is nothing but a graying of hairs. Pitta due to Krodha, Shoka, Shrama and Shri Roshmata make the hair ripens causing Palitya. Means uh, the increased Pitta in the body due to Krodha, anger, Shoka, grief, Shrama, um, uh, Shrama excessive, uh, excessive work and Shri Roshmata due to the natural hotness of the body, the graying or ripening of the hair happens which is known as Palitya. Now before coming to the clinical anatomy of hair, when we know that in healthy person, the hair grows at the rate of 1 mm for every 3 days and the lifespan and lifespan varies from 3 to 4 months to eyelashes to 3 to 4 years. Okay. In the scalp, each hair lost is replaced by the new hair that grows from the bulb of the hair and pushed towards the hair 
uh, um, hair out. Okay. Now the baldness. Baldness results when the hair are lost and not replaced by the new hair. It may occur due to disease, but generally inherited and mostly frequently occur in males because of genetic and influences along with the male sex hormone known as testosterone. And now when we come across the clinical anatomy of uh, hair, it includes the lo loss of hair, hypothyroidism, hypopituitarism, uh, male pattern baldness, alopecia areata, hypertrichosis, polycystic ovarian disease in the um, uh, females. Okay. Now, oh, danta. Danta that is teeth. It is considered under the variety of a asti. Okay. There are five varieties of asti. Under that, one asti that is a kasti, which is which can be correlated as correlated with a danta. Okay. Sa dirgayu sho ashtam ashtaman masat parato va pravartate itareshuta chaturthat te heti balle dantut pada vidayani pidana samyak sampuna dhatu bala bhanti. In Ashtanga Sangra, Uttar Tantra, second or uh, second chapter, the dantut prati has been discussed here, which means that uh, in uh, the healthy baby the teeth comes out in the eighth month and after the, and after it in the in some time it may erupt by chaturthat fourth month okay if it comes earlier the child suffers from pain that is vedana and some illness okay that is in dirgayu or healthy baby teeth comes out in the eighth month or after it okay and in some time it may erupt by fourth month if it comes earlier the child suffers from pain and ill health okay now on the sloka is Yavan Masasya Yo Jata Sta Dvashasya Sadvijaha Patati Pravasho Astanam Tesham Praveshu Sambhavaha Ashtanga Sangra Uttar Tantra. Okay. Now means the sloka the Abu Sloka means the milk tea that comes out in which month they fall is in that year and they come by eight months. Means uh, it's very easy that when the milk teeth comes. Okay. For example, uh, let's see if the milk teeth come in third month. Okay, they will get erupted on third year. The sloka here means to say that the milk tea that comes out in which month? Here, let's say it comes at third month. They fall in that year. That means it, it, that will be erupted at third year. And the, the totally the healthy teeth comes on the eighth month. Okay, it is also known as danta sampat. You will study in detail in the Kaumara Vruta, BMS third year. Okay, now precious danta, healthy teeth are big in pramana size. Thin, Laguta, Nirmalata, Clean, Snigdata, Shukla Varana, White, Ghana, Strong and Samaprasta all in the uniform layer. Now after seeing the healthy, healthy quality of Danta, let's see the Arista that is abnormal teeth. Tasya, Che Dantaha, Parikirnaha, Shweta Jata Sharkaraha, Syu, Parasuriti, Vidyat, Charaka India Stan, third chapter. If Danta is Malalipta, okay, excessive white and Danta Sharkara, dental caries has been formed, is Arista Lakshana. Okay, these are the Vikruta qualities of Danta. Now, Danta Rogas. Okay, Acharya Shushruta has mentioned 8 Danta Rogas, whereas Vagbata and Sharangadara has mentioned 10 Danta Rogas. Some of the Danta Rogas are Dalana, Primi Danta, Danta Harsha, Banjanaka, Danta Sharkara, Kapalika, Shava Danta, Hanumoksha. Okay. Now, let's see the clinical anatomy of tooth. First is a scurvy. Scurvy is nothing but a deficiency happens. Scurvy is a disease that uh, disease of tooth that happens due to deficiency of vitamin C. Gums are swollen and spongy bleed on touch. Okay. In gingivitis, the edges of gums are red and blood comes out easily. Okay. Gingivitis and suppuration with the pocket formation between the two teeth. There is a pocket formation between the two teeth and gums and the upper gums resulting in Pyaria alveolaris, known as chronic peridentitis. Okay, pyaria is a commonly cause of false breath because false breath because it is painless. Okay, dental caries is a decalcification of enamel and dentine. Okay, dentine is nothing but a tender on mastication. When uh, when somebody chews the food, if uh, if if, if uh, while chewing while mastication, if uh, the uh, teeth teeth uh, cause some tenderness, then it is known as dentine. Okay. Now, Naka Sharira. Okay, okay. Naka is Sthira, Vritta, Snigda, Tamrabha or Tamraguna, Yukta, Unnata or Uttungata and Kurmakara are the healthy qualities or uh, are the good lakshanas or healthy qualities of Naka. That is Prakurta Guna of Naka. After, the, after knowing the healthy qualities, let's see the Arista lakshana of Guna. That is abnormality. Tasya Che Naka, Vita Mamsa Shunitaha, Pakwa Jamba Varanaha, Siu. Purasuriti Vidya, Charka Indrasthan. If the nails of the patient seems to divide off Rakta and Mamsa and the color of that is Pakva Jambu, then Rogi cannot live long. See, if, if the Nakha 
if the nakha is divided of rakta and mamsa so it gets which is divided if it is divided of rakta and mamsa the blood circulation hampers here so it varna becomes pakva and jambu so the rogi cannot live long it is a restriction of nakha now let's see nakha rogas first is chippa chippa it happens due to vishesh of pitta and vata in nakha mamsa okay vishesh of pitta and mamsa ma, pitta and vata in nakha nakha mamsa causes pain burning sensation and even necrosis also called as upanakha or kshataroga kunakha nail being injured becomes ruksha black and hard also known as kulina these two are the nakha rogas described here when we see the clin clinical anatomy of nakha or nails the first one is coilonchia the central depression of nails with lateral elevation producing concave curvature commonly associated with iron deficiency anemia here coilonchia is nothing but the depression in the nails in the center okay the lateral elevation okay the central depression lateral elevation causing the curvature to be concave even uh, this is uh, associated with the iron deficiency okay now anonychia means congenital absence of nails there is congenital absence of nails which is known as anonychia now third is clubbing clubbing hope you all know what is clubbing clubbing is nothing but the hypertrophy of the nail bed when the nail bed the nail bed which is present be, uh, below the nail if it uh, gets hypertrophy then it, it gets it, it will be swollen okay causing convexity of the nail plate causing convexity of the nail plate in the chronic separative diseases like lung abscess bronchiostitis and osteomyelitis etc okay now paronchia paronchia is nothing but the inflammation of paronchium okay redness swelling and tenderness of lateral and proximal nail folds okay nail folds ka uh, redness swelling and tenderness okay the pus often accumulates under the cuticle this is a paronchia